It is my pleasure to introduce Mario Vargas, who is EMEA Advanced Analytics Lead at Microsoft. Mario has been having disrupting conversation with Microsoft customers over the last few years with the mantra that there's no digital transformation without data modernization. Known as a digital educator, he brings the startup approach of one use case and MVP at a time to get the real business insight out of the oceans of data empowered by AI engines. Mario, over to you. Thank you, Lia. So, hi, everyone. So, thank you again for uh, having me in. Uh, welcome to the uh, to the Ben MIT Technology and the Arabian uh, Charter. So, my name is Mario Vargas. Greeting from the beautiful uh, place in uh, city in Barcelona, Spain. Yeah, I'm part of the Microsoft Solutions uh, team uh, working on the AI uh, data and AI team. So. Uh, the, the way that I, that I frame to start the conversation about adoption, because adoption is, is something that uh, is, uh, has been ever more relevant for our uh, current state in, uh, in, in the business. So uh, I, I decided to start with, to make some reflections about what happened in, in the middle of the pandemic, that now we have a new wave and, and things going on around uh, uh, with the, with the, uh, the new uh, um, paranoia that we have with the with the, with the new wave that we have. I mean, I, I would have to say that the fundamentals did not change, uh, even with the pandemic. Everything that we have uh, today uh, and we have uh, before uh, COVID remain, uh, we are in the middle of that. And definitely uh, uh, all, the, all this process will take us to the next level, but uh, the fundamental business did not change. So I would say the imperative that the organization is looking forward to uh, run sustainability projects, uh, to uh, work on drug development um, projects, to uh, innovate on manufacturing, to uh, continue uh, discussing the things around supply chain, so it's the most uh, uh, burning platform today in the in the business environment, and continue uh, and continue working on productivity. That definitely is one of the uh, main items where uh, AI projects can make a difference. Right? So I would say the other thing to have in mind is uh, learning about the, the collaborations of uh, adoption that we have in this massive technology uh, transformation and digital, um, and digital uh, transformation that we got during the pandemic. I mean, for many years, the collaborations projects were half or, or mid accepted in the companies in the, in the understanding that we need to human see each other more. And obviously, the burning platform of the pandemic put, put us in a different label. So the question is for, for AI adoption, what would be that uh, platform or burning platform for, uh, uh, for AI? So uh, we will see that. And, and that is uh, allow us uh, with all the, uh, the technologies and the massive digital transformation happening over the last 18 months, uh, empower the new hybrid world or having the people uh, continue to live in a, in, a, in a remote environment and work in a remote environment. How can we um, uh, empower uh, the organizations in the planet to uh, really embrace uh, all the technologies that accelerate the digital transformation and AI is in the middle. And I would say that risk mitigation is one of the main items remain on the AI adoptions, data protections around, uh, around, uh, around um, ethical uh, as the main uh, pillar of these uh, data protection sharing is something that um, is a uh, world in most organizations at the moment. And, and, uh, and, and to be honest, all will happen with the ICOs and GDPR uh, violations in some uh, very visible problems in the market, especially in the UK, as we are making a more noise that we're, uh, essentially the organizations are taking measures to cover that. Uh, uh, with different aspects, and uh, I would say taking uh, the role of the controller out of the machine learning models that uh, share processes and data in the processes is one of the areas that we've seen uh, as um, in the middle of the pandemic has been generating more uh, uh, questions on it. So uh, let's uh, continue taking a look. What is the, the barriers that remains on the uh, on the mind, uh, on the mindset of our customers? So you can see that definitely 
uh, a combination between security, privacy, liability, risk, uh, definitions, and governance is a good item. So that is continued to be part of the of the conversation, everything under the envelope of ethical uh, AI. And, and definitely the other side is about what organizations need to do to uh, uh, run the projects in terms of uh, skills, people, uh, understanding uh, what is the right organization designs to insert AI into the, into the right uh, envelope organization, but uh, it's pretty well uh, connected with the uh, symbols of uh, culture around the company, how the company design organizations that really enable uh, the, the employees and the organizations to embrace AI projects in a good way. So taking a look to uh, the, uh, a little bit more on the barriers, politics is potentially one of the most important. Um, um, we have to say that mature organizations depend on a, a lot of cross uh, and big organizations depend on a lot of, a lot of cross functionalities. And one of the questions to raise a lot is how we incentive those cross organizations, cross teams to really work collaboratively in the, in the, in the aim of uh, embrace AI projects. Mindset is another very important reason innovation. How, how is the mindset of the company to really embrace uh, the risk? A skilling gap is uh, something that AI can do a lot of contribution to uh, alleviate that, uh, that area. Budget in terms of uh, allowing the companies to fail with AI projects to really uh, be sure that we can narrow uh, uh, MVPs that attack business and organizational issues, but have the tolerance to fail and, and express that in the line of budget items on a financial standpoint. And finally, uh, a vision of organizations designed with the right data and AI. Um, or charts and, and an organization that will be taking care of uh, definitely is something that uh, today is still a barrier, but we see a lot of progress in the final process. So we, we approach this in three areas, um, uh, understanding the AI, how the organization can ascend them, and what is the responsibility that they should be taking care of. So uh, a good uh, study from Forbes portray how the leaders are behaving in that, uh, in that sense. We say that, uh, um, most of the time, the leadership uh, is going to drive this data-driven organization that is the foundations to embrace AI uh, uh, projects and AI culture. So everything that is related to advanced uh, AI projects is correlated uh, as the main principle in the culture. We want to take a look to that briefly. So um, data uh, and AI projects, and I would say AI in specific, is something that should be everybody's problem in the company. Uh, it's not something that should be working in a vacuum. I would say uh, data scientists isolated on one side and business problem owners isolated on the other one. Uh, we need to foster this culture of cross collaboration between organizations and cross measurement between them, uh, um, fostering this culture of rewards uh, and tolerance to fail across those organizations to ensure that they could so the three principles that we are portraying, portraying in, in order to foster that AI culture that help us to uh, down the barriers are uh, these three data driven that is uh, mainly uh, around how the data is used around the organizations, not only how it uses, how it is uh, the foundation of the, of the data practices for the company. So if the companies are not really well prepared in terms of what is it, the uh, data organizations will be difficult to manage that, meaning what are the roles, the, the personas that will be taking care of the data, uh, the processes, and the skill up on the, on the people. Right? And at the same time, where all those definitions are from the design organization. Uh, from the uh, empowering uh, uh, and being inclusive is about that. Uh, we, we need to foster that culture, we need to be inclusive allow to the people to use the data that really, obviously with all the uh, data governance and management platform to be compliant with everything that is needed into the ethical platform. But we need to empower the people to use the, 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 the right data to create the right models and foster this culture of the, um, of the AI innovation in the companies and uh, allow them to come with projects from the bottom up uh, uh, to resolve the unsustainable problems that definitely AI can. 
And finally, the symbols and the culture from the leaders about responsible AI. Responsible AI is, is one of the main areas that I'm sure the rest of the conference will be tackled over that point that uh, need not to be ignored. So um, uh, the question, the next question would be, uh, what, where are uh, each of the organizations in terms of the data journey, right? Um, the adoption, uh, 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 for us, there are three main items that we would like to invite the organizations to take a look. If you really need to barriers the adoptions, you need to make an assessment where are you in terms of the adoptions. And we, we believe that there are four main principles that need to be taken care of. And uh, those principles uh, are those that you see on the screen. Um, uh, the strategic adoption, um, what is uh, the vision of the company about AI and how to adopt that and, 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 uh, and uh, uh, disrupt that uh, in the market. Uh, organization, what is the symbols, what are the right or what are the right uh, uh, skilling, what is the right proficiency that we are asking the corporations and the companies and the organizations to take care of. What are the minimum technical adoptions? I see a lot of practices of companies that uh, there is a data curriculum for any single uh, person going to the company with different levels of, uh, of, of curricula. Uh, so depending on what is going to be your role on the data, if you're going to be, uh, uh, depending on that, you, are, you have to be uh, up to speed with all the tools and the, and the practices around the organization. And finally, uh, everything where is the technology, uh, uh, data and AI adoption from the platform standpoint. So, um, so then uh, our approach is out of those four points mentioned, uh, the, the what is the commercial adoption, the organization, the data and AI and technology, we are asking uh, our organizations to take a look to a framework that allow us to take a picture. What is the, the real areas that they can start? And most of the time, this might be a little bit overwhelmed for many of our customers, but in reality, it's one problem at a time. We, we never suggest to try to digest and, and, and eat the elephant in one piece. We have many elements to approach. Most of the time, AI adoption is not a big bang uh, problem. It's an, uh, I would say, more uh, use case by use case resolution problems, and then, and then we can build the practices. Obviously, from the big bang uh, standpoint, uh, I would say the directories from the company, from the organization standpoint, is the right symbol from the culture. And uh, what is celebrate the, the, the success and, and foster that culture, but uh, from the tactical standpoint, we have to start to build, uh, to build the, the projects from uh, bottom up. So, and this is just a quick guidance in how we see the main ideas to drive. So, I believe that uh, most of those are familiar for the audience. Uh, and uh, we can do double click in, in those, uh, in, obviously, if you believe that uh, this is something useful, feel free to, to reach uh, us out. We, we are trying to approach this to understand at the minimum what is the baseline with the, with the customers in terms of the, of the data driven journey and the AI adoption so we can uh, really tackle the most important projects uh, underneath those boxes. So in conclusion, uh, I would say that uh, boost productivity remains as one of the main imperatives in the, in the journey, so that hasn't changed. Um, uh, innovating new products and services, and, and uh, this is correlated to the most in productivity in an AI tool, uh, is about the AI ethical platform that hasn't changed either. Uh, that's continued to be one of the imperative. And something that you need to consider pretty important is uh, alleviate the skill shortage. It's where AI has a really a great spot of contribution. If we find a way or the formula to make uh, the data scientists work with the line of business uh, units and make them co-accountable of their success, uh, joint success, we believe that that short symbol will be one of the accelerators on the AI adoptions. So having said that, I will leave this over to you, Lia. Thank you so much, Mario. Um, I believe many executives uh, want to know now how to foster an AI culture within organizations to prepare for wider AI adoption. So I believe um, 
Uh, this topic is very timely and a lot of the audience will benefit from the insights you shared. Thank you so much and I wish you a wonderful day ahead. Thank you.